I'll touch on many of these experiments as we go, but for the time allotted, I'd like to mostly focus on what this all means. Self-organizing plasmas have been found in many labs to form dissipative structures, like the opposite of entropy. Complex, dusty plasmas will find each other, hold memory, reproduce, dance, look around, and even play pranks on some of the more unfortunate scientists who had to hide their very results, as well as open the floodgates to scientifically theological philosophy, if you can imagine those not being an oxymoron, just right for this channel. Now, all this stems from micro levels of plasma that can fit in a tiny laboratory on Earth. And scientists found to be self-aware in laboratories. But this is where interesting turns very abruptly into holy moly, what in God's name have we stumbled upon? The complexity of these seemingly sentient plasmas have incredible memory patterns due to their particles being parallel to the neurons of a brain. In this case, a gigantic brain. Or if the self-awareness bothers you, a gigantic computer, but to say the least. I am not being coy or metaphorical when I say that the immensity of these plasmoids' computational power is enough to keep track of every single thing that has ever happened on Earth, down to the microscopic biological processes. Robert Temple has this to say about it. The plasma clouds are examples of inorganic life that has existed for billions of years. They may have had a role in forming this planet throughout its long cosmic history. 